You worked for this agency for years. <laughs> you could tell by that intro to you, I have my personal opinions. I'd like to hear yours because when I hear our FBI that we pay with our tax dollars say, we can't find a clear motive. Um, the guy wanted to kill President Trump. Isn't that the motive? And then when it takes them over a month to give us any details, any pictures, anything, and then I hear that this grand jury's only subpoenaed some of the agents um, and the family members, but nobody within the Harris regime and nobody at the top of the Secret Service food chain, I am once again doubting my FBI. I think that's pretty well-founded concerns because the FBI has proven itself to be politically partisan and completely incapable of carrying forward a fair and transparent investigation. I think the only reason that we got this information to us today was because of this parallel investigation that the Congress is carrying out. So we're, we're coming up on seven weeks, seven weeks for America's premier law enforcement agency to produce a photograph of a rifle upper and lower and explaining that, yes, it can in fact fit inside a backpack. Uh, as far as the impaneling the grand jury, that is a necessary step. They're going to be subpoenaing records and documents, and they might get pushed back from those organizations that have those records. That's appropriate to do. Uh, and I don't know if there's going to be any further investigation of members of inside the Secret Service because they want to protect their own here. Look, here's one thing that did get revealed a couple of weeks ago. It was the fact that the lead agent who had overall responsibility for this event in Butler had been a multiple decade employee of the Secret Service, had never served on a protective detail. The on-site commander, this was a, a responsibility that was shared among the Trump detail. There's about 60 people that work for it. And that person has a history and is now under investigation for sharing video and photographs of where she was positioned when she was doing these details because there's an operational security element and she was posting it to social media. This sort of organization that they have here, these failures that were laid to bear in Butler, Pennsylvania. It's my contention that they've been going on for a very long time. And it's just that this shooter here was provoked and incentivized to go out and speculation. We don't know. Uh, could there have been an FBI involvement in that as well? He certainly fits the bill of the typical uh, target that they like to entrap in any of these domestic terrorism schemes. And, and lastly, the FBI has said that they're investigating this as domestic terrorism, which would mean that they'll make it classified and they will not turn over <laughs> Information. They'll say, I'm sorry, Senator. I'm sorry, Congressman. You don't have a need to know. We can't comment on this ongoing investigation. And then that ultimately leads to the question of, did you already have a domestic terrorist investigation going and now you're just trying to cover your tracks? So they could have been grooming this kid. And it's been proven, actually, that the new target du jour are emotionally disturbed young men that the FBI seeks out online and develops relationships with them mm -hmm. when they are minors and then grooms them to the age of majority. Thank you to trap it as you've uh, tried to do a terrorism. You're telling me a 15 year old started planning five years ago? No, my theory was you get FBI, CIA, or you get one of our lovely foreign entities that we use or in the spy game to get on because they said he was a big gamer. You get on a game with him live in the headsets and you start talking to a teenager about his hatred of Trump. And you start talking to him while he's playing games about I've got the resources to help you. I can show you how to make bombs. I can tell you where to go to shoot him. I can tell you which next event will have really lack security. And then he shows up in Butler, Pennsylvania and pulls the trigger. So was he alone that day? Yeah, maybe. Was he alone overall? No. Someone helped him. Someone groomed him. Someone gave him the tools to pull this off.